Hello there everyone, I am Venrith and welcome back to some more Mudrunner. Uh, let's see what we can do today, shall we? So the last time we played we got these logs on and we got the logs on the trailer over there. So, the idea is to get this lorry, which already looks stuck, uh, across the river. Then we'll pull the other big vehicle with the trailer and hopefully we can get that through. If the trailer goes, so does the logs, and then we're going to have to just make another run. But let's see what happens. So I'm going to start with this little lot right without the trailer first. And I'm just going to set up a route. Which involves going past this truck that's stuck in the middle of the water. And... Then a bit like that, 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 and hopefully end up somewhere in the right place. Parking brake off, or we'll drive on. Let's go. So once we're to the other side of the river, what we would do is if the trailer makes it across, we will hook it back up to this lorry and then just take it the final route. Uh, where's the shallow bit? Where is the shallow bit? I don't know. It all looks deep to me. There we go. Now if I remember rightly, the really shallow bit was to the right of this truck. I say it says dangerous water level. This is the part that really messes with your eyes. You're actually moving forward and you sort of don't look like you're moving forward. Yeah. Great fun. Well, keep plowing forward and hope for the best. Oh, whoa, 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 I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm taking a lot of damage. I can break. That'll do it. The water was actually pushing me back in again afterwards. I think... I'm trying to remember whether I went to the... Right here? Or left, sorry? And then to the right. It seems to be working. That's the main thing. Well, I expect too soon. Uh, right. Yeah, it looks like I've just got to go for it across there, actually. Let's go for it. Take the damage. There we go. We're through. I think. Yes. No. Yes. No. The character looks like he's given up. Uh, I think I'm still. Uh oh. That's not good. I'm stuck. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am stuck. That did not go to plan. I'm going to be brutally honest. Uh, 
That has not gone to plan at all. I'm a bit less forward. I would get just a, a little bit just to give me some movement. I think we're off. We're going. We're moving. Oh, that was close. I thought we were gonna then. Oh, just as I go straight into more dangerous water level. up onto the shoreline you can do it there we go look at that brilliant so that can stay there now we're going to go for the e7310 and we're going to try the same again so we're going to go straight pretty much across to there Sort of across to there, up, and then down, and across like that, and hopefully end up somewhere where we want to. Yes. Let's start the eighth beast. Lights on. Forward gear, all wheel drive on, parking brake off. Let's try this. It's all about the trailer. I'm not bothered about this big beast vehicle but uh, I am more bothered about the trailer if we can get the trailer to the other side of the river we should have enough points to complete the map problem is last time we tried to move the trailer across the out the water just pushed it over Getting a bit close to that truck there, but should be okay. I'll just do a hard turn. Like I say, it's those logs I'm mostly concerned about. Hard right, hard right. This is probably a bit dangerous. No, 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 no. Jeez. Oh my word, I thought they were going to go. I thought they were going to go then. there 
Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? Green shot time. Okay, if I detach... <laughs> look at that. That's stuck on the trees, that. Detach the trailer there. Uh, detach the trailer. And let's pull this out of the way. Beautiful. Stop engine. Change truck. Right. I can break off. Try and reverse up to this. That done it. Yes. Awesome. Right. Let's go into first. We'll probably. I don't know. I might take the all wheel drive off. Just for now. Uh, never mind. I'll leave the all-wheel drive on, actually, for reasons. Ooh, jeez. Okay, let me just set the route up. So we want to follow along up here, and as soon as we get to here, we want to carry on straight on, down and around, to the road, up to the next junction, down there, to the lumber mill. Now, theoretically, this run should just do it, should complete the map for us. If, and that's if I can get there, without rolling this trailer over. This game is so much fun though. You'd think it'd be pretty boring just slowly driving a truck, but it's actually really fun and really challenging sometimes. Right, here's our first waypoint. Take all the drive off for a bit. Just save a bit of fuel just in case. Because if, of course, if if I lose this trailer, then I, I do actually have to drive back. And for that, I will need fuel. So let's go with a bit of caution. Should be carrying about six points of logs here. And I think we need five to complete it, I think. You can see in the top uh, left that I've traveled a total of 6,000 meters. Now 
Now I do believe when Mudrunner 2 comes out, the maps are going to be bigger. So it could be a... Uh, you know, quite interesting. What am I on now? About episode 8 or so? So, you know, and this is just like one of the maps. So, yeah, games can go on for quite a while. And to be honest with you, it's been, dare I say it, mostly smooth running. Uh, things could change, obviously, but uh, yeah, so far, so good. Put wood. Might make a left turn here. This flock can come off now before it overheats and damages my truck. So it's been a bit of an interesting map, this one, actually. Like I say, trying to cross that river without, you know, not knowing where is safe to cross the river. That's been the interesting point. Yeah, I put a bit of diff lock back on. Yeah, well, you know, before you get the fuck of war removed, it's it's so challenging because you just don't know where you're going. It's that simple. You just don't know. So you kind of have to guess everything, and, and until you've unlocked a few vehicles, um, it can get, you know, really challenging because if you don't, if you run out of vehicles, that's it, game over, you've got to start again. And if you try and like one star map, then you literally start out with one vehicle. And you have to go and find the others and unlock it. And then complete the map with, you know, those fewer vehicles. Of course, it all adds to the challenge, I suppose. Yeah, I think last time I drove this way without the trailer on, it kind of I just flew along this road, didn't I? Now it's just, yeah, the weight of that log trail is just really dragging the truck down. But we are almost there. just hit half fuel but it doesn't matter because here is the lumber mill oh yes it's been a long time I mean but we have made it Yes. Unload six points. That's deluge complete. We have done it. Total time played five hours, seven minutes. Fuel consumed 2,312 litres. Trucks and lots, five out of five. Garages and lots, one out of one. Watch points found, six out of six. Distance travelled 15.47 kilometres. And that was with a game balance of six. So like say if we one star it, it can become really challenging because you don't start with all those trucks. So that's it for Deluge and that's it for Mudrunner for now. Um if you want to see you know the next map I've got the valley to do, the ridge, Rocky Hills and last chance so you know if if there's if anyone wants to see um 
more mud runner then please do, do let me know in the comments and um yeah I've, I've really enjoyed playing this uh deluge map and it's uh surprisingly been all right i, I thought it was going to be a lot worse than i sort of made it to be so thank you everyone for watching i know it's been a bit of a short episode but uh that's it i'm afraid uh so until next time bye for now